Well, how's it team? Crispy here, Crispy's Kiwi Adventures, and welcome on another weekend mission. So, pretty excited because I have Hunter and Braxton here with me on this mission, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be teaching them the uh, few basic bushcraft skills. So, we're going to be doing setting up a tarp and building a shelter. We're going to make a fire, even though we're possibly not meant to be. Uh, we are hey going to learn some knots and we're going to sharpen up our skills with the bows. Mm. And later on tonight, uh, we've got a river just beside us. We're going to possibly see if we can catch an eel as well. So stick around, guys, and let's see if these boys will survive. Guys, for this trip, I've got myself a new tarp. So this is the Elton ultralight tarp, three meter by three meter, uh, fully waterproof, packs down to very small size, and that's got pegs and guy ropes in there as well. So quite excited to use that. It's going to beat sleeping under the uh, big silver tarp like last time.
over from the top, right? Maybe that'll do the job. Get all three of us inside there, won't we? Tell you what, we're not going to be short of kindling. Everything around here is standing dead wood. So if we do light a fire tonight, it will be a little one because I don't want to set the river bed on fire. Ooh, nice. Well, Brax has got his wee bow out. Um, they're having a wee crack at the target. I'm going to get a little bit of firewood together. We're going to do a small fire tonight, um, purely on the fact that everything is very dry here. We do have some marshmallows to make some s'mores. Got to have those, but that will be pretty much it. So it'll just be a quick lesson for the kids on how to start the fire. Hey, mate. Uh, yeah. Got to be able to roast those marshmallows, don't we? in this element. Breaks his way down there already. What a gorgeous night. Tell me that doesn't look beautiful. Gotta go have some dinner, some sausages. Gonna be pretty nice. But gonna get the old uh, bush buck jet cocker out with the fry pan, and we have hot dogs. But it's uh, what do we got here? Lamb and mint sausages. And some buns and we've got some sauce and yeah we've got lollies and smoothies for after so wait smoothies yeah smoothies 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 Pretty good, aren't they? Yep. They're pretty hot though. Oh. Mm. Not bad. Mm. Little after dinner treat for the boys. 
trash in there. Here you go, guys. You want some? What's that? Yeah, I'll come and get some. All right, here we've got the lads down here. We're down at the creek. We've got some uh, line, some sausage, and some salami. And we're going to see about possibly getting ourselves an eel. What do you reckon our chances are, boys? <laughs> you never know, eh? You never know. Right, so we'll see how we go. We're going to, um, I've got a few bits and pieces just to toss in first. So we'll toss that in, we'll see if anything comes a win. And if it does, we'll put a baited hook in there as well and see if they take that. So, fingers crossed. Alrighty. So we're going to leave the hooks in, in there with all the other meat and see if anything will take it later on. I'll come back a little bit later and we'll have a look before we go to bed. The boys are pretty keen to go and uh, have some marshmallows, eh? Okay, we've got marshmallows and chocolate biscuits. So what time is it? I don't know. S'mores time. S'mores time. Yeah. <laughs> The only thing is, guys, is um, we're still in cell range and my lovely wife has just texted me and said there are scrub fires all over the place at the moment. Uh, a couple not far from where we are right now and there is a complete and utter total fire ban. So as much as I've prepped that little fire to go, we're not going to actually uh, light it tonight. Um, we're not going to light anything tonight. Uh, no fires whatsoever. So we are actually going to cook these s'mores, hopefully they'll work, uh, at the, we're going to cook the marshmallows over the little uh, bush buck jet cooker, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> is it working boys? Yeah. Not quite the same as an open fire is it? Okay, but this is perfect. Perfect? Oh, look at that, guys. A yummy small care of Hunter. Is that good, mate? Yeah. Pretty good, Braggs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do we got, Taps? We got a meal. We do. Quite a decent size one too. Look me days. It's quite a monster. What do you think, boys? Wow. That's a good size, isn't he? Oh, my goodness. Well, I wasn't quite expecting one that big. My goodness, that is just a monster. Um, sadly, it had uh, swallowed the hook right down into its gut. So there was no way of releasing that one very well. So dispatched of him as quickly as I possibly could and we will cook that up for breakfast and it will taste divine how cool guys are pretty pretty stoked what do you reckon eh? I thought we were going to have pancakes and bacon we'll have pancakes, bacon and eel Ooh. Ooh. pretty cool Gee, it was giant <laughs> it was wasn't it? it's a beast a beast almost a shame to have to kill it but Yes. Alrighty, guys. Got the eel head. Pretty much time for us to uh, hit the scratcher now. So, see you guys in the morning.
You survived the night. <laughs> Here for a hot chocolate. Hunter's not a morning person, so. Oh wow, that was uh, not a bad night last night. Got a little bit cold this morning, but hey, yeah, the old sleeping bags are uh, working well. And we got an eel. Yeah, the kids are pretty stoked we got an eel last night. He's uh, hanging up in the tree there. So, very stoked. So we're gonna slice a bit of that up this morning, have that, along with our bacon and pancakes for breakfast. Woohoo! Oh man. You right there, little man? You survived, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'll get, get the old jet cooker going and boil up some water. Salted caramel hot chocolate. It's pretty good. Bullseye! Alrighty guys, so we're doing knots this morning and just going to teach a classic bowline which is basically gives you a loop, an adjustable loop that will tighten down on itself and the way I remember it is you make the rabbit hole the end of your line is the rabbit so the rabbit comes out of the rabbit hole around behind the tree back into the rabbit hole and tighten and that will give you your bowline and old Brax is pretty good at it too and so that line will or should yeah, if I've done it right flow through there why isn't it oh he's messed it up <laughs> And you can tighten that loop down onto itself. So good for guy end of guy ropes if you want to tighten down onto a um, tree. Got your loop, 
set it on there, tighten it down. And Brax is about to do one now, so. So he's come out the rabbit hole, he's gone round the tree, back through the rabbit hole, tighten it up, then he'll pull his loop out. <laughs> if he gets the right one, there he goes. Good job, bro. Well done. Legend. Alrighty. So the guys were pretty keen on uh, tasting the eel that we caught last night. So I am about to cook a little bit up for each of them and see what the verdict is. I somehow don't think they'll like it, but <laughs> we've got to try these things, don't we? Maple syrup. Smells like maple syrup? Yeah. It's a little bit doesn't it? Not bad. What do you think Probably it tastes like? I ate some of mine and then... No I didn't. <laughs> there might be some little bones in there too so just... Not bad. Not bad? Any verdicts? It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad, it's not good. Yeah, I think Hunter's still a bit uh, undecided. Mm, very fatty. No, I'm not. Oh my god. How is it? Oh. Not too bad though. Mmm. <laughs> very, very oh, no. oily and fatty. Hmm? What do you think, Brax? Hmm? You quite like it, do you? That's alright. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Hunter? He thinks it's amazing. No, it's good, but it's bad. It's good, but it's bad. You don't like oily things, do you? No. Not really. Eels yeah. very, very oily. So. It has some like salt. Yeah, we don't have salt. Silly me. Mmm, so good though. Alrighty team, well that's us done and dusted for this little weekend mission. Uh, it's been pretty cool. The eel wasn't, well the eel was a real hit when we caught it, but not so much eating it, so it was a bit too oily for the boys. But that's alright. Uh, other than that, we've had a pretty cool time. Weather has just been mint. It's 1st of June, first day of winter here in New Zealand and she's been a cracker, cracker two days and a beautiful evening i mean flip the guys actually slept in this morning so that's been magic so thanks heaps for joining us guys don't forget guys if you love this content give us a big thumbs up smash that like button subscribe as well i know a lot of you guys watching aren't subscribed so please subscribe uh really helps me along and guys you enjoy your trip really fun so this is first time in in the wilderness for these two boys so this is their first little uh, bushcraft survival type mission what do you learn not, not much knots bowline knots knot. yeah um, learnt a couple of knots learnt how to use a knife and not cut your fingers off didn't you bricks yep. and an axe and all yep. the rest of it we didn't quite get to light fire but we'll do that next time we'll go somewhere where we'll be a little bit safer but uh yeah it's been a good one so we've made an absolute mess here, um, so we're going to pack up now, square everything away, put it back to the way it was, and yeah, get on back to civilization. So guys, until the next one, happy, happy hunting! hunting. Yeah.